Hi guys, this is Aya Ishak and you are watching Ahya Property TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, we're going to look into East Malaysia. Now, a couple of days ago, uh, yesterday I talked about Sabah and now we're going to talk about Sarawak. So what's the news on Sarawak? This is a very interesting news and you've got to read in between the lines and see the opportunities as a property investor and see those locations that you might want to get into. So some property investors who are already in the Sarawak market. So this is your time. Now this is the headline on propertyguru.com.my's article. Thank you so much for Property Guru. Now Sarawak gets 1.4 billion to upgrade roads housing. Now I'm not going to get political about this, but I'm just going to be a strategic property investor and try to see the opportunities that we can get in uh, in Sarawak. Now what what I'm getting from this article is, you see, if you're going to pour in this much money, 1.4 billion ringgit for this year, 2013, under the GTP 2.0 program, it's going to improve infra infrastructure in rural, rural areas, such as roads, housing, as well as water and electric supply. Now, basically this, when you've got infra, when you've got all these facilities like water and electric supply, this is going to be the driver, the main driver for the growth, growth of population, growth of the property market. I see a lot of promising things in, in, in Sarawak and there's going to be real, real big news coming up ahead. Mark my words, there's going to be massive, massive news in Sarawak. It's going to get exciting. So, you know what, thanks for the government. You know where you're supposed to put the money in and, um, you know, one message that I have, you know, Ahia Property TV, we're not going to get political. We're just going to be very, very effective and productive people. We're going to assess news and we're going to identify opportunities in the property market. But you know what? To the government, if any of you are in the government right now, I just urge you this $1.4 billion, I hope every cent will be lean and will get into, will reach the people that needs it, will reach the projects that will really, really need it. And we're going to make sure that 1.4 billion ringgit for every cent will be used for building infrastructure and nothing else and doesn't leak anywhere else. That's what I, that's what I wanted to say. So, right. Um, and, and I hope there's nothing wrong for me to say that. I'm just a Malaysian who loves Malaysia and I wish that all the money that we spend really goes into the projects that, um, that they've announced. So, this is basically Sarawak, the East... Malaysia, not East Coast, but East Malaysia. And of course, there's a lot of things happening already in the Kuching side, perhaps in Miri side, and you know, uh, Cebu and Sarike. So we hope that there's better connectivity, better facilities in, in um, Sarawak. And I'm telling you guys, there's going to be great news ahead. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't got my money on the East Malaysia side. But certainly, um, it will open up our eyes and put, put re really put in perspective on how the Malaysian property market is shaping up. So thank you so much for watching this video review on Ahia Property TV. Thank you so much for what, tuning in and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.